warning Yellowstone volcano eruption will bring the world to its knees. A deadly avalanche bursts over the hills. Exclusive. A volcanologist warned that an eruption at Yellowstone would bring the world to its knees and cause what is known as a nuclear winter. Supervolcanoes are one of the scariest natural creations on Earth. This volcano has an eruption intensity that is more powerful than its neighboring volcanoes, namely 8 on the Richter scale on the Volcanic Explosion Index VEI. This means that, at one point in history, more than 1,000 cubic kilometers, 240 cubic miles, of material was ejected from its petals. Perhaps the world's most famous supervolcano is the Yellowstone Caldera, a vast fissure in Wyoming, USA, that sits beneath a vast national park. While millions of people visit Yellowstone every year, a volcanologist told Express.co.uk about the level of damage that would occur if an eruption occurred, and how far it would affect the world. The way a supervolcano erupts depends on its location in the world and what its geological makeup is like. These events range from rock and hot gas avalanches to extreme changes in the global climate. This last point is the result of an eruption at Yellowstone, which according to Professor Christopher Kilburn, a volcanologist at University College London, UCL, will affect most, if not the entire world. The area around the massive eruption will be completely destroyed, he said. But then comes the global impact, that's a different story. Clouds of fine volcanic ash will rise into the stratosphere and will block sunlight for perhaps several years. More important is the release of volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide, which forms opaque sulfuric acid droplets and reduces the amount of sunlight but lasts longer than the ash. This would cause total disruption to the global food supply. Depending on where the eruption occurs, the impact will be enormous. What scientists call a nuclear winter will occur, where ash and debris from the eruption spread across the globe and blanket sky, blocking most of the sun's rays. This would reduce global temperatures and cause crop failure, health implications, and reduced energy production down. Many economic impacts would occur which would then disrupt trade, food supplies, general activities around the world and in turn could cause other destabilizing effects. While such an eruption would not necessarily lead to the extinction of humanity, Professor Kilburn said many volcanoes and supervolcanoes is not actively monitored to detect such movements. It is a myth that the world is watching the monitors properly, he said. They measure specific points every few months, but even then, they may not have the relevant measurements to understand whether a large-scale eruption is about to occur. However, for now, things look promising regarding the super event in Yellowstone. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, said, Yellowstone is not too late to erupt, and added in a statement on its website, volcanoes do not work in a predictable way and their eruptions do not follow a predictable schedule. Even so, the calculations are imprecise to say that the volcano was late in erupting. In terms of major eruptions, Yellowstone had three eruptions at 2.08, 1.3, and 0.631 million years ago. This would mean an average of about 725,000 years between eruptions. There are still about 100,000 years to go, but this is based on an average of just two time intervals between eruptions, which doesn't mean anything.